Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are starting to get into holiday looks since it is almost December. I wanted to bring you a super glam look, but I decided to do a reindeer. So to get started, I'm using my Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette and I'm mixing these two colors together right here and I am using them as my transition color. I am doing a cut crease today for this look and I'm adding some glitter onto my lid so it's super sparkly and fun. I wanted to just use some warm toned shadows though, I didn't want to do anything super colorful since reindeers, you know, they're not colorful. And now I'm taking this darker brown color and I'm putting that into the crease. And I'm just kind of creating the cut crease shape that I sort of want. And then we're going to go back in and we're going to really cut it out with some concealer. So it doesn't need to be too perfect. And just keep going back and forth and blending. You can even take the first brush that you use with the transition colors and blend it up some more. Now, I'm just basically putting the shape of the eyeliner that I want. I'm not really doing my cat eye perfect right now. I'm just kind of creating the shape. That way we can lay down the glitter around it. If you put glitter down first and then do your cat eye, it's really hard to go over the glitter. It's really difficult, so I suggest doing the cat eye first and then putting your glitter in the areas that you want around the eyeliner. I'm taking my concealer and I'm just carving out the cut crease shape that I want now. This whole area that I'm putting concealer down at will be the whole area that I'm going to be placing glitter, glitter at as well. Take any concealer that you like. The concealer you use every day works just fine. And then I'm just taking a brush and I'm just kind of blending it all together, making it go a little farther down my lid and just making sure there's no clumps of concealer in any areas. I did a really elongated uh, cut crease. Um, you can do it, you know, a little shorter than mine. Mine got, goes all the way almost to my temples, but I wanted something really dramatic today. Now I'm taking my Sephora Silver Glitter and my Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue, my Holy Grail Glitter Adhesive, and we are going to put the glitter glue down first, just half, just on half of the lid. We don't want to do the full lid. Um, I'm just doing half right now. I feel like if you do the full thing, it could dry faster in some areas and you'll have to place it down again. So just do parts at a time then pack the glitter on. Don't swipe it, just pack it on. And I would, you know, I'll do a layer of glitter and then I'll add another layer on top just to make sure it's super sparkly and pretty. It will stick as long as you have a good amount of glitter glue on there. And the glitter won't go anywhere else but where you put the glitter glue down at. That's why I suggest packing it on and not swiping it. I take the glitter all the way to the outer edges. I love glitter in the first place, but I especially love glitter during the holidays. So you guys are going to be seeing a lot of glitter this season. I have a few more looks planned. And I went ahead and did the glitter on the other eye, but now I'm taking a black and a very dark brown shadow mixed together and I am just really defining that cut crease. I'm just taking it in there and making it super sharp and dramatic. And just keep blending it, blending it up. You can take the you know, the brushes we used before with the browns and you can blend it all together to make sure it's all cohesive and there's no sharp lines. This is a really pretty just like eye look too, just in general. Like if you don't want to be a reindeer, you could just do your eye makeup like this. I thought it was super pretty. I had yet to do a glitter cut crease like this. Then I'm just taking my big fluffy brush and I'm just wiping away all the glitter and all the shadow. And next we're applying our foundation. These cover FX, uh, they're custom cover drops and they are super awesome. It's a really pale white color. Um, so I just use this and I apply my regular foundation on there because most of my foundations are just, you know, a shade or two dark. 
I got them during the summer. Um, I was pale all summer, but I did have a bit more of a tan then than I do now. So I just mixed my Cover FX Custom Drops together with my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat foundation. And now I'm using my NYX Above and Beyond Concealer in Porcelain, and I'm just concealing all my areas that I want, my high points of my face and underneath of my eyes. And then I'm taking my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Setting Spray, and I like to spray this in between each layer of like everything, like moisturizer, primer, foundation, concealer, whatever. But I also really like to spray it on my face before I use my damp beauty blender and blend my concealer together. For me, I just feel like it gives extra hold and I just love anything that's going to help make my face and my makeup stay on all day. So I just like to spray a little bit of it on before I blend everything together. And now I'm taking my Kat Von D Translucent Setting Powder. And I'm just going to be packing that on. I am going to be baking the underneath of my eyes for this look today. This powder does have a little bit of a shimmer to it. Not too much. It's not very noticeable at all. Um, but just so you guys know. And these, this is amazing right here. These are my Cover FX Custom Enhancing Drops. This is the highlighting ones that I'm sure you guys have all heard about. I just got some samples from Sephora. This one is the color Celestial. And I'm applying this on the inner corners of my eyes just for right now, just to give some extra brightness. And then I'm taking the Star Highlighter from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild Glow Kit, and I'm putting that on top. Then I'm wiping away all the excess nonsense I got going on, on underneath my eyes. More setting spray. That's a good trick, too. If it looks too dry, spray some setting spray. And now I am creating the whites of my eyes. I'm really extending it down in the inner corners of my eyes and dragging it out um, for a doe-like or deer-like kind of eye shape. Then I'm taking a brown shadow and I'm just outlining that white shape we did. As if you were, you know, outlining the underneath or like the waterline of your eyes as you would with a normal look. Just pretend that the whites that we drew in are the actual whites of your eyes. Then I applied some black and I'm just blending it out with a lighter brown. Finishing off my cat eye and filling it in, I really extended out quite a bit to match my cut crease. And then drag it down in the corners of my eyes as well to follow the shape of the white liner. Now I'm taking a light brown shadow and I'm contouring my nose. So instead of us making our nose look extra skinny like we normally would, we want to make it look a lot whiter to replicate that of a reindeer or a deer. And then I'm taking a darker brown shadow and I'm just going right along it just to really define that nose shape we want there. You don't want your nose to be skinny. I mean, you can do it however you want to, but I want it to replicate a deer somewhat. Then I'm just blending the dark shadow that I did out a little bit and taking my contouring brush and a dark brown shadow. I'm just going around my forehead and I'm going back and forth with the shadow and with my powder brush just to blend it all together. And I'm just really defining that we want the outer parts of our face to be darker and the center of our face to be a little bit lighter. Contour your jawline. I just really went back and forth with the shadow and the powder. And then I am contouring my bottom lip as I usually do, just to make them look a bit, little bit poutier, a little bit bigger. Then I go back to the shadow and the powder until I feel like, you know, it's blended enough and it looks nice. I went ahead and applied my sparkly diamond choker that I got from Forever 21 because I thought it would look super cute with this look. And now I am contouring my collarbones and I am also shading my shoulders and down like halfway down my arm just to make the whole thing cohesive and make it match with my face. I'm applying a very, very light natural looking blush to the cheeks and blending the contour together a little bit with it. And now here's the fun part. I'm using those custom enhancer drops from Cover FX and I am applying this all over my cheeks. This stuff is blinding. It is so crazy. It's a liquid form. I just take the brush and I just really blend it, blend it, blend it, and um, until I feel like it's, you know, it looks nice and not nothing sharp, no sharp lines. It is a little dark for my skin tone, so that's why I take another highlighter and I go on top of it so it looks a little lighter. 
And you can apply this all over your face. You can do your nose. I did. I did my nose. I did my cupid's bow. I did my collarbones and my cheekbones. And now I'm taking the Crushed Pearl Highlighter from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Gleam Glow Kit. And I'm just placing that all over everywhere where I place the Cover FX Drops at. It just gives us really crazy glow. Now I'm creating my cute little red nose. I'm just using Mayron Paradise Paints and I'm using the color red to do this. And I did it kind of dropped down in the center. Like I didn't cover my whole nose. Like I didn't go straight across, I guess. But I made it go down just a little bit. That way it would match the lines or the contour that I did on the nose. And then I'm just sharpening up that contour just a little bit. Just to make it blend together with the red nose I created. I got these super fun, cute lashes from Spirit Halloween um, during Halloween time. They have glitter all over them and I have not used them yet. And I thought this is a perfect look to use them for. I'm probably going to use these for a lot of holiday looks. But I just put glitter all along the band. I double, you know, added extra <laughs> on the ends of it. And I just let them dry for about 30 seconds to a minute. And then I just went ahead and applied them. At first, I wasn't too sure about these. Honestly, I was kind of like, mm, I don't know. Are they too weird? But I went ahead and I just applied both of them. You know, I made them blend by putting some eyeliner over the glue. And they ended up looking really cute. And I thought, well, why not? I'm doing a super glam look. Let's just go for it. Then I took the eyeliner and went over the band of it and to make sure there's no glue showing. Now I'm taking my NYX Cosmetics Face and Body Glitter in red, and I am going to be making a sparkly little red nose. I'm just putting the glitter glue down and then putting the glue on top, just like we did for the eyelid. And just keep packing it on. Now I'm taking my black face paint and I'm drawing a line connecting the nose to my upper lip. Then I'm just kind of creating an outline for the upper lip. And taking my Jeffree Star Cosmetics Velour Liquid Lipstick in Weirdo, I am filling in my top lip, only my top lip with black. Then I'm taking a little brush and I'm just extending it out on the top. Kind of like if we were doing like a Harley Quinn or a Joker smile, or if you were like making a mustache. And then I know this is a sin to mix Kat Von D and Jeffree Star together, okay, but I'm using my Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Outlaw, and I am filling in my lower lip with that. Then it's really easy to make glitter lips with liquid lipstick. I just take the glitter and I pack it right on top of the wet liquid lipstick and it usually dries and sticks. So I'm just using the same red glitter we use for my nose. Now I'm taking my white Snazaroo face paint and I'm using a brush that's already round or like a circular kind of shape. I'm just dipping it into the paint and literally dotting it all over my forehead, all over my contour that I did on my cheeks, across my nose, kind of like freckles and on my chest as well. I did it really uneven. I didn't try to do it perfect or anything. I wanted it to look kind of random. I did some more opaque and some lighter on purpose, just so it wasn't, you know, absolutely perfect. And I end up doing it all across the top of my forehead as well. Um, I just didn't do that until after I applied my wig and stuff, um, but I do fill out pretty much my whole forehead and then I took a q-tip to make smaller dots on my nose so they weren't so ginormous and then creating them all over my upper arm and all along the dark parts we did it didn't go along the highlights just the dark areas then I went and put my wig on and my little antlers you can't see them but they're red and I just added some more where I felt necessary and I took my same Sephora silver glitter that we use for the eyelid and I just used my finger. I didn't use any glitter glue or anything. I just used my finger and I put it on top of all my highlighted areas on my chest and on my face as well. Just to give some really sparkly funness added. It's the holidays. There is never 
ever such a thing as too much glitter. So add as much as you want to. But yeah, that's the whole entire look, guys. I, I've been really uninspired lately and unmotivated. I'm sure if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you know that. I've mentioned it a few times. But I thought, why not do something simple and glam to get me into the holiday spirit and to get me going? I have a few more looks planned for you guys this holiday season. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this super simple, fun look. And stay tuned to see what I have planned next. Thanks for watching, guys.